What is up, everybody? Um, another episode of uh, Quarantine Streams, baby. Get it? Because the uh, Velveteen Dream, Quarantine Streams. Okay, for those who don't know, I am also, I consider myself a bit of a wrestling fan, but I don't like to be called a wrestling fan because, and this is going to be like the, the epitome of this video, um, I don't, I don't hate wrestling fans. I don't have any disdain for them. I don't see anything wrong with them. But there is an empowerment problem when it comes to wrestling fans. I feel like the wrestling fans see themselves as more important than the actual wrestlers. And like, like if you if you saw yourself on equal terms as the actual wrestlers, that would be cool. If you saw yourself as uh, you know, like if if there were assigned roles in wrestling. You know, and you assign yourself a role where you're on one side and you let the wrestlers be who they are on the other side. I would totally understand and respect that. But my biggest issue is that there's this uh, em entitlement, as I like to call it, when it comes to professional wrestling fans. I think that's the most, I think that is indeed the most annoying thing. Like, I say this because, like I said, I don't consider myself a wrestling fan because A, I've wrestled before, B, I've trained to wrestle, and C, I mean, like, I mean, I backyard it, <laughs> but like, you know, I, I like to think that still qualifies because, you know, Danielson backyarded, um, <clears throat> a lot of wrestlers backyarded. So, you know, the way I see it is, is that like, um, there's, there's too many wrestlers, there's too many successful wrestlers who started off wrestling in the backyard to disqualify it nowadays. I'm not going to seriously sit here and say I'm one of the best or anything like that, but I'm definitely a step ahead of your standard wrestling fan and my biggest issue is that like a lot of wrestling fans don't want to be wrestlers because they're starting to see like um they're starting to see like this this empowerment this entitlement like they're starting to see themselves as bigger deals than they actually are and that bothers me i'm repeating the same thing hold on let me let me let me backtrack this all started because Dave Meltzer said that, um, I don't know if he did or didn't, because I don't follow Dave Meltzer like that, but there's a, there was a post on Twitter that bugged me. It said, like, you know, Dave Meltzer said that uh, Orton versus Edge was a boring match. And the first thing I'm thinking to myself is, how many world titles has Dave Meltzer actually won? Like, has Dave Meltzer actually done anything in wrestling? Has he ever, like, you know, wrestled? Has he booked a show? Has he done anything because people say all the time because like you know i hear his fandoms his fandoms are rabid they're like well he's been watching wrestling for years and he know he know he invented the five-star system and you know, that's not on that no like you know in my opinion in my opinion dave Meltzer is just a glorified fan and that's and it will be fine and it will be fine if uh dave Meltzer was a glorif it was a fan and you know, like, other fans was just like, oh, okay, that's cool, that makes sense, whatever. But he, this dude has fans. This dude who doesn't do anything, in my opinion, to garner fans, has fans. Now, people say all the time, uh, people say stuff like, oh, uh, I'm going to use this other chair as a stand because I'm tired of holding this. I'm tired of holding this. Uh, damn, okay, hold on. No, 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 don't slide, don't slide. I really need to find a way to edit that out. I didn't mean to curse. But, um, yeah, there's these fans who just, you know, like, first off, he invented the five-star system. That's dumb. So he gauged, uh, he gauged a measurement system without actually explaining what is a requirement for the star system. In other words, it's like, how do you know that a match is one star? Outside of his opinion of the match. How would you know that, like, can he be wrong about his own measurements? Like, if I say that something is a, if I say, you know, like, uh, something is one square long, right? And I say that something else is one square long, and it's not one square long. Am I right or am I wrong? I invented it. Do I know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Maybe, that that's just my logic. I'm My logic is faulty. I'll, I'll admit that. But like you know, they say st like you know they like I feel like the accolades that people give Dave Meltzer is um, a little undeserved because in my opinion he hasn't done anything. Like you know he watched prof like I had one guy tell me oh he watched professional wrestling for thirty years. A lot of wrestling fans have watched re professional wrestling for thirty years. In my opinion, all Dave Meltzer did was just 
get a like all he did was just happen to have enough money and enough uh notoriety to create to turn his opinion into a magazine i mean any fan can do that i mean any fan can have an opinion and like i'm starting to see like there's a bit of a shift when i was a kid growing up people wanted to be wrestlers people wanted to actually go in there and you know beat up the bad guy and stuff like that i'm like there were fans who actually wanted to you know there were fans who actually wanted to pick fights with wrestlers nowadays you know you know with the electronic era and all this stuff that's happening and there's less cocaine and steroids in it now and wrestlers are getting littler and you know you know there's, there's starting to be more about talent than actual appeal you know i'm starting to see like the lack of wrestling fans i don't know i'm starting to see a shift you know the lack of wrestling fans you know especially and i hate and i don't want to say the word fat but like the slightly heavier fans starting to say you know what i'm not i'm not a uh, i don't, I don't want to do that which is weird because it's like like on one hand i want to say that wrestling fans are kind of like like you know you know there's a demographic now mostly you know, there's the demographic, there's the stereotype, there's all types of stuff. We're opinionated. Every fan about everything that's fiction or nonfiction, everybody who has an opinion on something is going to be, uh, you know, there's going to be a stereotype about what kind of person they are. And I feel like, you know, like, do you really want your representative to be, do you really, do you, would you rather be your own representative or would you want Dave Meltzer representing everything you say? Because I'm starting to see a lot of fans basically just sort of take Dave Meltzer's word as law. And it's like, no, that shouldn't that, that shouldn't be a thing. Like you should not put somebody else's viewpoint on something above yours. That's just me though. Like, you know, I like you know, for example, I love Booker T. I think that Booker T is quite possibly one of the greatest wrestlers that ever put up a pair of boots. You know, he's had great matches against, you know, uh he has he's had great matches against, you know, the likes of Christian. Kane, RVD, Eddie Guerrero, um, as much as I hate to say it, Batista, uh, he's had great matches against a lot of great wrestlers, and, you know, I mean, in, in a, you know, up until my early years of watching wrestling, he has, he's done almost everything, there's a bumblebee out here, so that's why I keep looking up, <laughs> I don't know, I'm scared of, I'm scared of getting stung. And I just don't want, uh, you know, I don't want to get stung. This this thing is big. But, yeah, man, like, I just don't see it. I don't see, like, um, I don't understand, like, you know, why fans want, like, you know, and I, I'm like, I say this to say that, you know, Booker T now has a podcast. And Booker T, Booker T now has a podcast, you know, like, he's obviously, you know, he claims to be done with wrestling, but let's face it, <laughs> he ain't never completely done with wrestling. Look, look at Sky Steiner. And uh, also, while I'm talking about Scott Steiner, I hope that he's uh, doing well physically. You know, you hear a lot of things about, you know, how um, you hear a lot of things about wrestlers. You know, after they wrestle, they have to, you know, they get older. They have to kind of take it easy for a while. And so, you know, here, I, here I'm hoping that Scott Steiner's okay. But, um, yeah, there is, but yeah, like, you know, Booker T, he's a... He has his own viewpoints about what he believes wrestling should be. And he's been in the business long enough for me to care about what he says. Guess what? I still am going to care more about what I say. Because I'm not going to say that, you know, because like, you know, uh, because Booker T, albeit one of the best to ever do it, you know, he, you know, I'm not going to change my entire outlook on what I think. Just so I can say I agree with Booker T because everything he says is right. No, do I think that Tessa Blanchard deserved to be a uh, be champion? Talent wise, yes. Controversy wise, no. The controversy was a little too heavy for her winning the championship. Although for TNA, it's a good move because let's face it, like you know, she is a very polarizing figure, and he's a very polarizing figure. And if TNA wanted to get that kind of recognition and that kind of um. You know that kind of heat or whatever why not hell i can't wait for nyla rose to become aew champion one day just to see how many fans because the same fans who are talking about some oh my god that's a dude they're gonna probably be pissed off when she gets that championship and i want that to happen you know and like i say i say this because you know i say this because like i just don't like the idea of fans 
seeing a viewpoint from other people and just saying, I 100% agree with it. You, whereas in a world where people disagree with each other all the time, Dave Meltzer shouldn't be the chief representative, especially not Dave Meltzer. If you're going to listen to a wrestler, if you're going to listen to anything about wrestling, it should be from people who are actually involved in wrestling. All Dave Meltzer does is nothing. He's a fan, just like everybody else. Like, I mean, like, has uh, until I see a picture of Dave Meltzer shaking hands with Vince McMahon, I'm not going to care about anything that guy says. Neither, I don't, I don't care about anything that, or any of the other um, reviewers, like uh, Brad Shepard or any of those other guys. Because, like, you know, like I say, you know, you, you're either in the business or you're not. But that's just me. I'm sorry this is lengthy. I just I, I know I kicked the I know I kinda kicked the dead horse here with that one, but yeah. Forget Dave Meltzer, forget Brad Shepard. Who these people are nobody. Until they wrestle until they wrestle or until they book or whatever, yeah. Let their opinions not shape yours. Alright guys, that's it. Love and peace. Y'all have a good one.